Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Not seeing anything in the way of rain or snow today. Just a full sky of sunshine, and that's pretty much what we have on Monday and Tuesday. Tomorrow, just a little bit of cloud cover over the mountains. We'll likely be looking at some breezy to windy conditions too, but temperatures warm statewide. Crystal. This morning, police are searching for the suspect in the deadly shooting that prompted a lockdown of Presbyterian Hospital downtown. This morning, police have yet to name a suspect, but they are looking for a white Ford Crown Victoria. APD believes it could be connected to a shooting yesterday morning blocks from Presbyterian. The person later died inside the ER. As you head out this morning, APD needs your help finding a missing man. Police say 63-year-old Roger Robinson was last seen when he left his senior assisted living home near Candelaria and Eubank yesterday. His caregivers say he went on a bike ride and never returned. Police say Robinson is in the early stages of dementia. Starting today, Santa Fe Municipal Court will be conducting a safe surrender from now until Wednesday. Officials with the court say it's for people who have been issued a bench warrant. If you show up at the courthouse on Camino Entrada between 8 and 4, your warrant will be dropped and the $100 fee will be forgiven. Happening right now, Sandoval County Sheriff's deputies are urging anyone with a missing family member to come forward. This as they continue investigating a badly burned body found in a remote area of Rio Rancho over the weekend. The body was found in an area near Northern and Encino. Deputies say because the body is so badly charred, they do not know if the victim is a man or a woman. On to new news this morning. More training for shootings on school campuses. It could be coming soon. This as state lawmakers consider a measure to give public schools more security funding. Supporters originally wanted $60 million, but reduced their request to $25 million. The extra money is wanted to train school employees on how to respond to school shootings. The Senate Education Committee is expected to discuss this next. New at 6, today is the deadline for President Trump to impose a set of sanctions against Russia for its interference in the 2016 presidential election. Congress mandated these sanctions last year. President Trump signed the bill into law, although he was originally against it. No word from the White House and if the president will comply with the deadline. Sarah. Happening today, White House officials are expected to officially release the framework of an immigration deal. Officials say the legislative framework represents a compromise between both parties. Trump has proposed spending upwards of $25 billion for the building of the border wall and other security measures. He also wants to limit the family members that immigrants are able to, able to sponsor to join them in the U.S. and end the visa lottery aimed at increasing diversity. The concern some senators have over the plan coming up in the five facts. Crystal? New details at 6 now. The deadly car crash shooting in Pennsylvania it happened on Sunday. According to the police, the gunman was one of the victim's ex boyfriends. At least four people were shot and killed, including Chelsea Klein. The shooter, identified as Timothy Smith, was found with a self inflicted gunshot wound. Police say Smith's motive was out of jealousy over his ex girlfriend, Chelsea. We have the full story on our KRQ News app right now. On to new news this morning with the flu season on track to be the worst in 15 years. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is now asking the Centers for Disease Control for help on this. He wants the CDC to set up a surveillance team in his home state of New York to help study the spread of the illness there. On to news, new at 6, Ronda Rousey is ready to rumble in a new ring, that is. The former star of UFC made her official debut with the WWE yesterday. After confronting a wrestler, she then pointed to the WrestleMania 34 banner. Rousey says the move is not a publicity stunt. ESPN.com confirms that Rousey has inked a contract with the WWE. On to news happening Wednesday, people in the western part of North America will be able to view the super blue blood moon. It's special for a few reasons. Here they are. The moon is the second full moon in a month, also known as a blue moon. It's also closer to Earth, so it will look bigger, and it will be a total lunar eclipse. People living in the west coast, like Hawaii or Alaska, will be able to see it. As for New Mexico, we'll see a partial eclipse. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index only out of one. We've got some cold temperatures out there now in the 20s, but this afternoon, no problems. Light winds out of the south staying less than 10 for most of the afternoon. Lots of sunshine and temperatures in the 50s, which is about 5 to 7 degrees warmer than where we should be. Crystal? It is that time again. Tax filing season is here. Beginning today, the Internal Revenue Service will begin accepting 2017 returns. This year, the deadline to file is April 17th. Yeah, you get an extra two days. 
April 15th falls on a Sunday. The District of Columbia will be observing Emancipation Day on April 16th. The IRS does suggest filing electronically so you get that refund a lot quicker. New warning at six for you. Doctors are increasingly concerned about the risk of injury from fidget spinners, believe it or not. And a report points to two children who were injured by swallowing the toys, lithium button batteries. The article from Boston Children's Hospital says the unlabeled battery poses a big potential danger. On to news. New this morning, a fitness app is posing a danger to a lot of uh, people's security. Strava is a fitness tracking app that calls itself the social network for athletes. It allows users of the app to share their running routes. But late last year, Strava released an updated global heat map. Tech experts say it reveals security forces at remotely located military bases, causing them to be clearly identifiable and mappable. The Pentagon is now looking into this matter. Kristen. Time now for a check on traffic. We do have a crash reported on the off ramp of I 40 eastbound at Louisiana. Only the left lane is open there. So, heads up if your commute takes you in that direction. Everything else seems to be moving clean and green this morning. We will keep tabs on the roadways for you and let you know of any updates. Okay, we talk about, uh, you know, a lot of weird things on KRQE, but today could be one of the weirdest. Today is Bubble Wrap Appreciation Day. You may think it's all about protecting your items during shipping and storage. Did you know bubble wrap was originally designed to be a sort of 3D wallpaper? Engineers created it back in 1957 as a wall covering. People didn't really like it. Don't know why. Eventually, they discovered it was greater for pack or it's great for packaging, I should say, and a lot of fun to pop those bubbles, right? People love playing with bubble wrap so much. It was a finalist in the National Toy Hall of Fame's Class of 2016. It didn't make the final cut, though. No. Kind of bummed about that. Well, maybe next year. Yeah, so maybe bust out your bubble wrap today. Celebrate with Celebrate with this. <laughs> Good stress reliever. So silly, mm -hmm. isn't it? All right, time for the five bags. We start with number five. Santa Fe Community College is offering free help with your taxes. The college is working with the AARP Foundation's tax aid program. Beginning this morning, volunteers will be on hand to guide community members through their tax forms. That will run Mondays and Tuesdays from 8.30 to 4.30 and Saturdays from 9 to 1 in the college's fitness education building. The free services are based on income eligibility. Number four now. State lawmakers are considering a measure that would give public schools Schools more money to train school employees on how to handle shootings on campus. Now, that measure calls for $25 million to go toward public school security, something the governor called for in her State of the State address. The Senate Education Committee is expected to discuss the measure coming up next. At number three, sunny and mild across the state. Temperatures will be above average for the next several days with more wind expected tomorrow. Number two now happening right now. Sandoval County Sheriff's deputies are urging anyone with a missing family member to report it to police as they continue investigating a badly burned body found in a remote area of Rio Rancho over the weekend. The body was found in an area near Northern and Encino. Deputies say the body was so badly charred they don't know if it was a man or woman. Number one now, where officials are expected to officially release the framework of an immigration deal today, we're talking about the White House. The proposal did have some concessions to Democrats, including a path to citizenship for an estimated 1.8 million undocumented immigrants. However, it also included aggressive cuts to legal immigration and a push for enhanced enforcement powers, along with upwards of $25 billion for that controversial border wall. While the president believes this could be a deal both sides can agree on, we'll have to wait and see what happens later on today.